Yeah. Uh, five months. Five months? Yeah, yeah. Abu Bakr Sadiq, he called people to Islam with La ilaha illallah. Just La ilaha illallah, that's all he had. So uh, I can do the same, inshallah. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his messenger. I'm feeling now, I mean, being a Muslim for five months. Uh, this is the best thing I've done, uh, being honest, the best thing, honestly. Uh, what attracted you to the Muslim faith? Uh, it was the uh, science. Science was uh, what, what made me really revert to Islam because, uh, in my opinion, God is unfathomable. Therefore, he has to give me something unfathomable to, to believe in it. When I read about the verses in the Quran, in the production of the womb, I knew then it was the truth because 1400 years ago he knew stuff that we only know because we have the microscopes. And uh, for him to know that, only the Creator would know that. So therefore I knew it's the truth. We should be that happy in the world. And uh, if anyone's thinking of Islam, accept it man because there's something changes in your heart, your life becomes better for you. It really does. Uh, the arrival of faith as it of Iman. You can't be man, nothing sweeter in this world. Uh, it went okay, they said uh, that I've been brainwashed. I said yes, my brain is clean now, it's been washed. So, yes, I, I was brainwashed. Uh, alhamdulillah, the best, best clean ones. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. And your brother here, alhamdulillah, he accepts Islam as well. Okay, your brother. Uh, yeah, yeah, alhamdulillah. He's, uh, What's your name? Isa. Isa. Yeah, so alhamdulillah we He converted, with, uh, I mean, along with you like five months ago. Yeah, yeah, he, he came uh, a little while ago, uh, about two months now, alhamdulillah. He accepts Islam. Uh, trying to teach him the deen, and that's, you know, he's, he's young, he's enthusiastic. So, uh, I'll guide who he will. That's all. So, was he pushed or did he jump? No. In fact, yeah, when I arrived, he took the mic out of me for being a Muslim. And I said to him, because there's two angels writing your deeds down. He said, what? And I told him about the gin, he said I want to be a Muslim. Yes. Alhamdulillah. How do you feel about being a Muslim? No. Uh, I feel really good. What, what first attracted to a Muslim faith? Uh, I don't know. Andrew, really. Andrew, yes. Yeah. How do you feel about like being a Muslim for like for two months? Uh, not too bad actually. Feel good. Good. Feeling good? I like your dress. Nice Moroccan dress. Ask many questions, man. You got a lot of questions. I think that's it. I'll try and answer the best I can, but inshallah, Allah give you knowledge, rub your zigzag one. Uh, that's what you need to do. So make the wire, anyone. Uh, don't make the wire. What's your name? Fadi. Fadi. Yes. How long have you been a Muslim? Three years. Three years? Yes. How did you find it? Uh, through Malcolm X and uh, the internet. The internet? Oh, yeah. yeah. So what first attracted you to the Muslim faith? Uh, well, basically it was Malcolm X. I already saw the biography and uh, he was such a fascinating person. So I just wanted to know what Islam was about. Are you American? No, no, I'm Finnish. It sounds like You're Finnish. I'm Finnish, yeah, from Finland. Okay. Time. So I wasn't like searching for a religion or anything, but... Once I just started uh, searching for, oh, not searching, but uh, just uh, getting, getting knowledge about Islam, and uh, just suddenly my, my mind just started to rise. And, uh, I studied Islam for about six months, and uh, then I was uh, certain enough that Islam was the truth, so I, I converted. Well, basically, uh, the thing that got me to believe was uh, the scientific miracles of the Quran. Uh, I can't really name that many of them, but so many, yes. yeah, there, are, there are many. And uh, basically, the most like uh, appealing thing about Islam is probably like the, the sense of brotherhood. Brotherhood, yeah, community, sense of yeah, community. It doesn't matter what color you are, what age you are, if you're Muslim, you're, 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 you're a brother. Yeah. Yeah. Do you live in Finland? Yeah, or I live in Finland. Yeah. How, how Finnish? Yeah. How you you you're not finished yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. But how do you find the Muslim faith living in Finland as a Finnish man? Uh, it's pretty hard. A lot of fitting around. Uh, a lot more than here in the UK, I must say. Okay. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you.
face all down his body from the floor he lived he, he, he slept on a rope carpet and he got up said you I have seen kings living on sleeping on beds of gold and a, a feather beds and you are the prophet of Allah meaning you're sleeping on a rope bed he says yes they do but our reward is in the next life now prepare that tea break this life eight years to eternity it's a photograph. We're not going to even remember this. A L A K I. You yeah. will get it. You'll get it. And it's, it's very long, but it's worth it, man. Sit there, and listen. You just get some dates, milk, sit there, chill, yeah. listen to it. Come to the pretty good. You're fine. Yes. Well, I just did, unfortunately. I said, let me finish, please, then you can argue with me, yeah? But I said, in my opinion, God is uncomprehendable. The concept of an uncreated being that is un uh, not boxed in, is no size, is eternal from the beginning to the end. There was no beginning, there was no end. He is the beginning, he is the end. That's, the be that's uncomprehendable, in my opinion, right? So in order for me to believe in it, he has to give me something uncomprehendable. Because that conforms with my opinion of God, uncomprehendable. When I read in the Quran about the production in the womb, I could not comprehend it. Do you know why? Because in order for us to know of sperm and to know of the womb and to know of the egg inside the womb and what happens once yeah. they join together, we have to get a microscope or some sort of scanner to have a look, don't we? Yeah. That, the only reason we know today is because we've looked in the microscope, we've looked through the scanners, correct? In the Quran, 1400 years ago, 1000 years before, the uh, microscope was invented. It is written in the Quran and I have oh, sorry. However, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the only person in history to go against that idea. And he didn't have any proof to prove it. What happened to the uh, micro? What happened to the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was his messenger. 